in preparation of our 20th anniversary to be held in Zimbabwe at Budira Assembly next year in 2015. He, as women of excellence, would like to champion the completion of the toilets, interior of the auditorium, landscaping of the environment, and resurfacing the road leading to the church site. There's a great need as blessed women of excellence to beautify the house of the Lord because our Lord likes to dwell in a beautiful place like we do. In Exodus chapter 40 from verse 34 to 38, we see after the tent of meeting was finished, the cloud covered the tent of meeting and the glory of the Lord filled the tabernacle by day and by night. In 2 Chronicles, we see Solomon also building the temple, dedicating to the Lord and the Lord coming to dwell in it after its completion with his glory. In the book of Haggai, in verse 1, verse 4, it highlights, the Lord says, Why are you living in luxurious houses? All my house lies in ruins. Then verse 8, it says, Go into the hills, bring down the timber, and rebuild my house. Then I will take pleasure in it and be honored, says the Lord. In other words, Go and work and bring in the money and resources to finish my house so the Lord can take pleasure in it. Let us all rise up and join in arms with Moody Little Assembly for the finishing churches of this body. As Women of Excellence Cornerstone Fellowship, we saw it fit uh, to work for the Lord this year. It is the year of faith and we are believing God for great things and bigger things. So we have organized ourselves uh, that we should uh, work, especially here in Budiriro. I think now we've got a trending issue of working for our toilet that will cost 1624 in the plastering for the toilet, which cost also 6000 and remaining bricks of $2,000 uh, or 10000 bricks, and the 27 locks, which cost $700, and the cement, 55 bags, which cost $550, and, uh, and labor, which cost $400. And in, the, in our main church, we've got the main item we need ceiling, we need to have ceiling, which cost six thousand dollars to have our ceiling and to connect electricity in the main auditorium, which cost also again five thousand dollars, and the uh, plumbing to our public toilet, which will cost four thousand dollars, and to do landscaping on this ground to make it presentable. I think we need to have two thousand dollars to make the ground level. We are therefore aiming to raise twenty-five thousand US dollars over the next six months in contributions from at least 200 willing women who will each give $125 or $21 per month. There are others who may want to give more as you feel more. Come on, women of excellence. This is doable. Let us rise up and believe and build a place of worship for our God like what the Israelites did and like what Solomon did. We are